It's National Heart Health Month, a time to hone in on the details of what keeps our body's most important muscle healthy and functioning in tip-top shape. Joining us now with information on how to get that done daily is Dr. Andrew Shao, a nutritional biochemist and fitness expert and host of the Habits and Hustle podcast, Jen Cohen. Thank you both for your time. First of all, Dr. Shao, what is NAD on the molecular level? And furthermore, what is its relationship with our bodies? So NAD stands for nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, and that's a mouthful. So don't worry about that. Just think about NAD. Um, it's an essential coenzyme, actually, that is present in every cell and tissue in our body. Uh, it's known as the central catalyst uh, of metabolism. NAD uh, helps to convert the nutrients in food uh, to energy that our cells and tissues use. Uh, it's critical for heart health because the heart, as you mentioned, is the engine of the body. The heart is a very metabolically active tissue with a high energy demand. Uh, there are thousands of little organelles in each heart cell called mitochondria, and that's where NAD works its magic, helping to convert nutrients into energy that the heart cells use, and therefore maintaining uh, normal NAD levels is critical for uh, normal heart function, particularly as we age, because NAD levels decline uh, with age. Right. And remember, everyone, that this molecule helps our body generate energy and repair the body's damaged cells. So very important to be mindful, not only of our diet and exercise, but on a molecular level, how we're taking care of our hearts. So now I'm going to switch over to Jen. Uh, since we are mostly, you know, hanging around the house, we're not able to get out and exercise the way that we normally do at the gym or eat the nutrition that we would like. Uh, what are some ways that we can be maintaining our heart health while we're at home? Well, I'm, you know, I am going to tell you exercise is the first thing I'm, you know, the first thing you can do, even if you're, even if you're at home, you don't need to go to the gym, you can walk around your block, your neighborhood. Um, and, you know, we have so many different programs right now online that you can try, but a minimum of 30 minutes a day is what I recommend to everybody. Uh, because being sedentary also depletes your NAD levels, uh, which is why I take uh, an NAD boosting supplement called Truniagen because it helps with your energy and it helps with that sedentary lifestyle. Um, also, you know, being cognizant of what you're eating, your nutrition is so important and making little small changes throughout the day makes big, big, big differences. Mm -hmm. So, you know, not to over, overwhelm yourself, but say, you know what, instead of having this bag of chips or, you know, this junk food for a snack, grab something like an apple, put it beside you so you don't make that mistake, right? It's very easy when we're just sitting here, we're just grabbing whatever is convenient. So make the, the, the healthy quality food the convenience, not the junk food. Right. And drink a lot of water, things like that. Those all make great, make great health, healthy choices that make a big difference. Mm -hmm. Yes, because we're talking about keeping our heart healthy, but clearly that comes from making constant healthy habits, which leads to a healthy lifestyle where the goal is health and wellness. Now, you mentioned walking. Let's throw in the idea of plateauing there. How can we keep from, you know, keeping our heart on a constant level as we're walking or running? Maybe we should go from walking to running every 20 to 30 seconds. Would that be beneficial for the heart muscle? Oh, absolutely. I tell, you know, and that's a great, that's a great thing that a question or a, a comment that I get a lot, right? Because walking can get boring after a while. So switch it up. You know, a, another great thing is you can get arm weights, you can get let you can get ankle weights to kind of add, a, add some intensity, you can take a jump rope with you. Or, ha you know, you could do a lot of different things to maybe increase the intensity if running or, or doing these you know, these intermittent sprints in between. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of different ways you can kind of mix it up. But if running's not for you and you have bad knees, you know, like I said, you could take weights, little little weights and do some arm exercise. I'm doing it here right now with you mm -hmm. just to kind of, you know, increase that intensity and move your body. Mm -hmm. But walking is cheap, free, yeah. and it's really underrated as a great heart health act activity mm -hmm. that anybody can do at any age. Well. Thank you guys so very much for encouraging us all to do what we should be doing every single day, even though it is uh, National Heart Health Month. So, uh, Dr. Shaw, where can we go for more information? Yes. So, to learn more uh, about NAD and also True Niagen, visit TrueNiagen.com. That's T-R-U-N-I-A-G-E-N.com. Mm -hmm. 
And just to reiterate one more time before we go, how did you guys feel the first time you took True Nigen? You know, how did you feel before and how did you feel afterwards? So in, in, uh, in my case, um, I uh, felt a, a, a big boost of, of energy. And, and uh, the, the main thing was it really helped me uh, get through my workouts because I work out, I uh, exercise every morning, uh, every day, seven days a week. Um, and it's uh, one of the tools I rely on to help uh, get me through my workouts. For more information, just log on to firstcoastliving.net.